Hey there buddies, welcome back to another episode of uh, Decrypting Movies. You're watching MW, I'm Mary Dawson. In today's episode, we're going to review the game. Alright guys, this is my short block on the movie, the game. Uh, so it's available on Netflix. It's uh, 2 hours, 9 minutes in length and my one word review is Mercurial. It's simply unpredictable and the IMDb rating is 7.7. And if you see the verdict, you'll never know what's going to happen next. So you can read this blog and decide whether to watch the movie or not. There's not going to be any spoilers. Uh, so before we decrypt this movie, let's go watch the trailer. Thank you, Maggie. I don't like her. So it brings you to town, Conrad. Everything all right? October 12th. Maggie's birthday. This is for you. Consumer Recreation Services. Call that number. Why? They make your life fun. What are you selling? It's a game. A game? Specifically tailored for each participant. There's no small John. Chapter 9, verse 25. Whereas once I was blind, now I can see. Now I can see. One day your game begins. You either love it or hate it. Are you going to spend the rest of the evening prying at that clown's mouth? Mr. Van Orton, is everything all right? Ah, oh, Mr. Van Orton. Have we met? I believe so. Why are you following me? Find out about a company called Consumer Recreation Services. They won't stop, Nick. He's in on it. I paid the bill. I paid a more to make it stop. They need the police. They're gonna break into my house. I mean, toy with a bunch of depraved children. They're trying to kill me. Who's behind this? Who did this to me? Why? This is all the game. the whole thing, aren't you? No! They make your life fun. All right, so that was the trailer. Uh, so the whole movie, uh, I think uh, it's been put right in the trailer uh, and you can guess the story. So it is a conceptual movie, highly conceptual, uh, basically going by what if something happens. So the protagonist is is uh, is everywhere in the movie. The whole movie is about the protagonist, uh, Michael Douglas, the great actor, one of the great actors. He is the protagonist of the movie. So the story revolves around him. Uh, he's a very uh, wealthy businessman, and his schedule is tight, and he's having a troubled childhood. So this is how the movie starts in the first uh, act. We are getting exposed to the lifestyle of uh, Michael Douglas, our protagonist. He's a very, uh, you know, busy man who doesn't have time for emotions. He is, is, it starts on his birthday, uh, I think around 40, he's turning 40 or something. So he doesn't accept wishes from anyone. So that's how his nature or character is being uh, developed. And uh, he's having a troubled childhood, as I said before. So this is, a, this is the setup that we see in the first act. and. Uh, from then on the movie starts so the as the name goes by the movie is is a game that is being played by the protagonist so uh, he has a brother his brother has comes from uh, uh, i mean uh, from somewhere and he's giving a visiting card which is uh, basically a gaming service they they uh, provide you know lifetime or real time games to the people so consumer recreation services so that's that's what he gives and if you make call and if you are uh, enrolling into it you're going to play a game in real life so this is the setup so uh, michael being a very you know pedantic and uh, busy man he decides it, it's very tempting for him and he decides to take a shot at this 
and the game starts eventually uh, and he is not able to uh, you know imbibe what is happening in his life because it's it's uh, so surreal and he can't accept what's happening and the inciting incident is when the brother gives the visiting card so that's where the story uh, actually uh, begins so he gets enrolled into this program and as soon as you see the building or the uh, floor on which the crs was eventually i mean suddenly disappears and he doubts whether it is nothing tick service or he's being fooled because he's a wealthy man they want uh, you know uh, you know milk money from him uh, this is how it goes so every scene is unpredictable from there on until then you are being uh, exposed to the world but after that inciting incident it's it's a game uh, which you are also playing along with the protagonist you do not have an idea what's going to happen next so you 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 are basically doubting every person you are encountering in your life so he, whether he, he was he was he or she was part of your life last 20 or 30 he's even doubting his secretary his financial advisor everyone so it's it's It's, it's completely baffling for everyone, and it's and the screenplay and narration is is uh, given a treatment which is absolutely wonderful. It's very thrilling, and at certain times you feel like a horror movie, and certain times you feel it's a very suspenseful movie. But it's always unpredictable, and when you have unpredictable uh, scenes in your film, it's going to be really thrilling. Uh, Yeah, this is about story and screenplay, and obviously, since the whole movie is about a single person, the lead actor, uh, he's gonna perform. He has to perform well, and you know, carry the whole film on his shoulders. So that's what Michael Douglas does. He's very engaging. Uh, you see his reactions very, very realistic. It's as if like if you are in this situation, what kind of emotions or feelings you would uh, reflect so that's what he gives we he is skeptic when he when he is skeptic if we are uh, you know shocked when he is shocked so it's an absolute uh, commendable performance from michael douglas he keeps the, he keeps the whole film on his carries the whole film on his shoulders and you never get bored believe me uh, although it is filled with only one character and uh, very less supporting characters you don't have a background story for other characters but uh, you have a very strong background story for the protagonist and it is being uh, exploited in the game is is uh, so basically he's having a troubled childhood so you want to rectify that that is the uh, way the game is uh, tailored for him so eventually it's a happy ending he completes the game uh, in a dramatic fashion uh, uh, that i don't want to reveal uh, his he, even his brother is part of that gaming uh, game uh, so it, it's is very thrilling he he's and is all kind of adventures is going through uh, you know an action scene horror scene uh, comedy scene a romantic scene everything is part of the game so he it it is it employs techniques in such a way that each and every feeling in your mind is being uh, you know used and experienced so that's what this movie is about they have named it uh, absolutely perfect and uh, the game is really thrilling uh, performance is very commendable and uh, you know intact it doesn't spoil the story or the screenplay and i would definitely recommend you to watch the game it's available on netflix it's 2 hours and i would recommend to watch this film alone because you get that uh, experience fulfilled only when you're watching it alone uh so i hope you enjoy this episode on the game and uh, stay tuned for further episodes of decrypting movies you're watching mwm i'm ali dawson uh, see you until the next episode bye bye